with a promise that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on earth. In verse 4, Fathers, do not exasperate your children. Instead, bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. Glory to God. Let us pray. Father in heaven, in the name of Jesus, we come to you today, Lord. This is the day that you have made. Thank you for the night that the Lord has been passed on our lives again, Lord. We thank you for guidance and your protection towards us. We thank the Father for your blessings to our everyday life. Father, we, owe, we are lifting our fellowship this morning to be your, you have to uh, pour out your Holy Spirit within us, Lord, upon us, and also those who listen to your words and accept your words as they, as I deliver them, as I as I deliver to them, Lord. Bless each and every, every one of us here and also in the Philippines. We uh, we thank you, Father, and uh, cover us with your most precious blood. And protect us, Lord, under the shadow of your wings. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Here in the Philippines, well, Father's Day is already finished. I think yesterday. Now, I'm, I'm sorry, but, but uh, I still have a long hair. And uh, the barbershop is still, uh, is still closed today. I hope tomorrow they're going to be open tomorrow, the barber shop. And this one, we celebrate Father's Day today. The Holy Scriptures in the Bible does not mention the Father's Day. In the Bible, there's, it doesn't mention there a Father's Day, but it's a celebration and honoring our father and recognized their influences. In other words, they affect on how he guides, on how he controls, and how he govern or run his family. Today, we also honor our and commemorate our fathers and our forefathers who passed away like my father, the late Pastor Isaiah S. Songkuan Sr., who passed away 13 years ago. A father is capable in providing the needs of his family, such as shelter, I mean the houses, shelter, clothing, food, and education. He also provides them security and development. He is also a caretaker of their home and always maintains their home to look nice and pristine, always new. If you see, uh, if you look at the, uh, a good father house, the house is very, very clean, inside out. Amen. 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 Uh, I don't think a good father will also clean the laundry wash the laundry or ironing the clothes or cooking. Sometimes he will do that, amen? Yes. He is also a caregiver when it is necessary. He takes care if somebody is not feeling well of any member of his family. He is also a good disciplinarian. It's not, he is not harsh or unpleasantly rough kind of discipline. Amen? But many fathers are very harsh to their children. When they discipline their children, sometimes father use excessive force. Amen? A good father also provides an important foundation of his children. And what is that foundation? The number one is the Word of God. Without the Word of God, in one family, you are nothing, brother. Amen. In Matthew 7, verse 24, it says there, Anyone 
anyone hears these words of mine, says Jesus, and put, puts them into practice. He is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. And who is this rock? This rock is Jesus. Amen. Here on this verse, a father should be a model to his children. Amen. He should be the model of his children. A father should be the first to know who Jesus is. Amen. Amen. And lead and guide his children in drawing near to God. Amen. Drawing near to Jesus and follow his commands. Amen. But some father is sad to say they are model of bad things. That means they are the promoter. Personally, they are promoter of bad things. Deceptive or falsehood and deception. All the evil things are inside in their mind. And they will pass on to their children. But they gotta pass on to their children. Is stealing, sometimes drugs, Sometimes alcohol. Even their ch his children are still young. Even these children are still young. They know how to use drugs. They know how to use alcohol. Amen. And they know how to steal things, properties. And these children, when they grow up, when they are grown up, all the evil things that they have learned from their fathers, they will put into practice. Amen. They will do it because that's their heritage from their detestable father. And that's where the trouble begins. Or worse, they might end up dead. Like father, like son. If the father is bad, the son is two times better, better than her father. Amen. Than his father. He is worse than his father. That's the bottom line. In Proverbs 22 verse 6, I'm reading the King James Version. It says here, train up a child well, in the way he should go. Yes. And when he is old, when he is old, he will not depart from, from it. Amen. Yes. Amen. Meaning, he will never forget it. Amen. Amen. He will not depart from it. The word, the word train up, it says there, train up a child. The word train up means to heads up or heads in. Amen? It's like a building fence. If you put up a fence in your perimeter, a barrier around a child that makes, that make him or her safe. However, what are to be friends? What are to be friends in? Must be two things. Brothers and sisters. It must be two things. These are the child and the Bible. And this is the way he should go. The word of God. The word of God must be the criteria or a standard for all things. Open your Bible in the book of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1. Like our scripture reading. Again, I'm reading in King James Version. In verse 1, it says there, Children, obey your parents in the Lord. For this is right. This means to be under authority. As well, it refers to parents who know God. If not, they are to be obeyed as far as possible. You see in this Bible passage, it means even your father are very bad. You still have to obey him, okay? Amen? Because your father is your father. It's your physical father. It's your, it's your uh, biological father. You have to obey him because it's your father. You have to respect him, amen? Respect. It says here, if not, they are to be obeyed as far as possible. If they don't know God, you still have to obey them. But not in that which violates, in, but not in that which violates the scripture. In verse 2, 
honor your father and mother. All this is important because family government is designed to be an imitation of government of God. In one family, a father served as a president or a head. Head. He is the pillar of home. What is a pillar? It's, uh, it looks like um, it's a foundation. It's a kind of it's a kind of concrete uh, post. Yes. Pillar. It says here, while the mother serve as the vice president, she is in charge if the father is not around. The wife will, will uh, take charge. And this, and it will be go well with you. It says the Bible, it may go well with you. You may live long life on earth. This verse even has a promise to those children who obey their parents. You may live long life on this earth. You may even, those, favor, those fathers who, who, who enjoy uh, living uh, a longer life, they might be able to play with their grandchildren or great-great-grandchildren as they grow up. Amen? Amen? It's also sad that so many children, most especially teenagers, are very rude. What is rude in Tagalog? It's bastos to their parents. Amen? Amen. I have seen to many, so many teenagers who are very rude and disrespectful to their parents. And what happened to them? Most of them are gone. They are gunner, they're dead at a very young age. Your life won't last long if you are rude and disrespectful to your parents. Amen. Yeah. In Exodus 20 verse 12, again in King James Version, Honor your father and your mother, it says there, that your days may be long upon the land which the Lord give, gives you. Honoring the father and the mother sets a stage, set a stage for honoring of God. And this verse is also similar in Deuteronomy chapter 5 verse 16. It should be obvious. Failure to obey always carries penalty. Amen? Amen. Failure to obey always carries penalty. You see, if you drive here in the United States and you, uh, you pass through a uh, a traffic, a traffic light, a red light, or a miss a stop sign, you have to pay, you have to pay the penalty. Amen? Amen. Failure to obey traffic light and traffic signs always carries a penalty. But how about if you fail, if you have, a, if you don't obey your parents? It has always, a, it's always have a penalty. In Proverbs 20:20, 20, 20, it says there, if a, man, if a man curses his father and mother, his lamp will be snapped out. What is he snapped out? If a, you could imagine if a candle, it has a, it has a light there, it snapped out, just like it, it was blown by a hard wind or a hard blow, like that. And then the light is gone. That's your light, brother and sister, amen? It will snap out, put a sudden end that's the meaning of that. In pitch darkness, in Proverbs 16, verse 25, similar to those in the Proverbs 14, verse 12, there is a way that seems right to a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. It is given those by the Holy Spirit. By design, the whole cause of problems of human family is because of wrong direction. Amen? Amen. The only true way is Jesus Christ because He is the way, the truth, and the life. In verse 4, Fathers, says there, verse 4 in, in the, uh, Ephesians yes. chapter 6, verse, verse 4, Fathers, do not. do not exasperate or provoke or annoy your children. Amen. That's the meaning of exasperate. Provoke or annoy. Some fathers are troublemakers. Amen. Especially when they're drunk. <laughs> they just uh, drink uh, one teaspoon of, of uh, alcohol. They're already acting like stupid. Amen. These fathers are troublemakers. 
Instead, bring them up in training and instruction of the Lord. Refers to the fact that fathers raise their children in love. Amen. Raise them according to the way to the ways of the Lord. Not according to your ways, fathers. Yes. Amen. Yes. Teach them his words. The word of God. Teach them to fear the Lord. This is a solid foundation as they grow up. Amen. Amen. And they will pass on to their children. Yes. They will pass on to their children in the future. Amen. Amen. Like this kid here. Like this baby here. If you teach this baby the word of God, he will not depart from it. And he will. He will be. Has an her heritage from the father. Amen. Amen. It's a solid foundation when this, uh, when this baby grow up. Amen. And they will pass on to their children in the future. Yes. Future. This is will be an heritage to their, to their children's children. And through their through all their generations to come. And now to the fathers and fathers to be. There are most of you most of you are also will become fathers to be or already fathers. Amen. Make the best for it to your family. Amen. Make the best for your family always. And also to the to the to, uh, to the children, young and old, do your best to make your parents happy. Amen. Amen. Young and old, do your best to make your parents happy. But most of all, you are obeying the law and commandment of God, which in turn expect something good that will happen to your life all the days of your life in Proverbs 15 20 it says there a wise son a wise son brings joy to his father amen, amen. but a foolish man despises his mother if you despise your parents you are considered as a foolish man amen and Isaiah's verse 1 in Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19, if you are willing and obedient, it says there, you will eat the best of the land. Meaning, if you consent in your will, and also obedient in your action, the eating of the best of the land refers to blessings. God will bless you abundantly and exceedingly. Amen. 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 See, Satan is not devouring the increase. No. Because you're always obeying the Lord. You're always obeying the command. Amen. If you obey Him, God will allow enemies. If you do not obey, if, if you obey Him, blessings will be yours. Yes. Blessings will be ours. Amen. Amen. If you obey Him, but if you don't obey Him, I mean God, if you don't obey Him, will allow enemies to come in and devour with sword. What is the meaning of that? Maybe you will end up nothing and then nothing, you will commit suicide or something like oh, you drink, you gotta drink, you gotta end up your life, amen? Devour with the sword. And remember what I told you fathers or father to be. Always read Ephesians chapter six verse 1 to 4. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. Father in heaven, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Father, for all the fathers that, uh, that are here in our Lord. Thank you for the fathers who are present and who are listening to your words. Amen. We thank you, Father, for all these, uh, these fathers. Bless them, Lord. Yes, Lord. Bless their families, Lord. Yes, their immediate families. Amen. Make them Make them your your, uh, your your children, Lord. And you will be the foundation of these families. We thank you, Father, for this, uh, for this message that you have given to us. Amen. And be with these families, Lord. Be with these fathers. Because without you, Lord, apart from you, we cannot do anything. We cannot do anything, Lord. Thank you for the lives of the fathers, Lord, of, the, of these fathers, Lord. And, and um, make them enjoy their life. Give them long and satisfying life, Lord. Amen. 
and correct their uh, their mistakes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And correct also the mistakes of their children. Yes, Lord. Be with them, Lord, yes, Lord. as they grow up. Amen. And guide the Father to know you, Lord. To teach their children how to draw near to you, Lord. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Father, and we uh, we just entrust to you this day again, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Uh, let's go to our communion. Before that, let's, let's read the First Corinthians chapter 12. In First Corinthians chapter 12, verse 24 to 25. It says here, And when he had given thanks, he broke it and, and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This is the cup, is the new covenant in my blood do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me but brothers and sisters there is a warning of the lord here amen in verse 28 first corinthians chapter 11 verse 28 it says here a man ought to examine himself before he eats of the bread and drink of the cup for anyone who eats and drink without recognizing the body.